Hey, this is Vetterberg. I'm in the studio with my brand new Bubble Sound LFL. And I'm going to show you a couple of things. Um, first of all, I want to show you one of the tricks that I've been doing for ages with the complex envelope generator. And you're hearing it playing the, the yellow foil right now. And the second thing I want to show you is some of the uh, PWM things I've been doing with it. And uh, the last thing is a bit of the Brock brand stuff. So let's uh, trim this down. Let's turn off the, just turn off the, uh, the delay. Simplify things a bit. All right, and then I want to show you what I'm doing here. Basically, I'm using the LFO uh, comparator outputs right there through a mixer going into a quantizer and then into the LFO. All right, so this sounds really crazy. So basically, what you do is you set you set each of them to to LFO, so they're basically running themselves now. And then obviously the attack decay uh, determines the length of the of the LFO. And then you tweak the threshold here to get your different compared outputs compared to the the um, attack decay. So basically this is a bit like variable pulse width on an LFO and you get that four times so what I do is simply feed that directly into a mixer this is the exponential mixer is not really the best for this stuff um, and um, and this goes directly into the quantizer um, so what we can do here is speed up the sequence simply by changing the the length here and tweaking the thresholds. So you get some pretty insane shit going like that. And it has a periodicity periodicity? Is that the word? To it. But it sort of slides in and out. This goes into the quantizer, which also generates a trigger there, <laughs> and that goes into an ADSR, which goes into the QMMG, um, and this gives us some lovely simple filtering sounds. Right now, we could go crazy and. We don't want to do that right now. Okay, the star of the show. LFO. So what I've got going on here is basically the pulse out going directly into the QMMG. And what I'm doing is, apart from feeding it um, bolt per octave, is I am doing pulse width modulation on another. I think this sounds really, really good. It's one of the better sounding units I've seen in a while. Another little trick, you see this? I'm doing some CV control of the, the LFO with part of the sequence that's controlling the pitch. See? That's pretty difficult to do usually without involving other stuff. Alright, so this just sounds so incredibly rich. It sounds like a gazillion oscillators playing together. Right, this is as high as it'll go in pitch. I think that's plenty high. Let's roll off some of the filter. Yeah. I could live without it going higher. Now this is in the high range.
That's incredible range. It's actually quite easy to tune. Um, the fine knob is really well spec compared to something like the, the Model 50 from Plan B, which I find really difficult to tune. I don't know. So yeah, that's uh, a pulse width patch. Oh, let's let's turn on some delay here. Go nuts with this. Thank <laughs> you. 